Hey, I'm Chris and welcome back to my channel. You know, every once in a while you come across a car that leaves a lasting impression on you. For me, it's my 1973 Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser. But it's not just about the car, it's about the story as well. You see, three years ago I was in the market for a vintage station wagon, and I was on Daily Lister doing a nationwide Craigslist search for clamshell wagons. I come across an ad in Boise, Idaho with a lousy description and poor photos, but it was still interesting enough to me. So I called the seller, had a conversation, got a little better description and some additional photos, which were no better than the first. Well, after two more conversations with the seller over the next several weeks, I started to paint a picture about the seller and the car and the circumstances around it. And so with that, I took a chance and made the buy. Now, at that time, I wasn't making videos. I did know, though, how great of a car it was when it was delivered to my house the night before Christmas Eve. It wasn't until the morning that I got a good look at what I bought, and what I found was a dirty and crusty but beautiful surviving clamshell wagon that was original and complete right down to the vintage buy supply tires and the glove box full of receipts. As I was told by the seller, the car was bought new in Ohio in 1973 by the grandparents. They moved from Ohio to Ontario, Oregon in 1977. About that time, the grandmother passed away and the car was parked in a barn where it remained. In 2013, the grandfather gifted the wagon to the pregnant granddaughter as a way of helping her, and then the granddaughter in turn sold the car to me. So after the car arrived, I began replacing everything necessary on the car that sat for so long, starting with the cleaning of the fuel tank and the fuel lines. I then replaced the fuel pump and sent the Quadrajet out for a rebuild. I replaced the shocks, tires, rear brake shoes, wheel cylinders, hardware and a hose, the front calipers, the hoses, the master cylinder, water and vacuum hoses too. After the mechanicals were completed, I began on the interior, scrubbing and cleaning every surface. Once I was finished and the winter snow melted, I began wet sanding the factory paint and buffed it with a purple, white, and black foam pad. Once I was completed, I was surprised by how deep and clear the factory lacquer shined. The wonderful reflection of the chrome and the trim, the fantastic condition of the original Dynock wood siding, and the comfort and cleanliness of an untouched interior. My family and I enjoyed the wagon for the remainder of that year until ultimately selling her in order to make room for another survivor, a 71 Dodge 3 quarter ton custom van. So even though I was the caretaker of this great wagon for only just a few months, she left a lasting impression and a new appreciation for the star of the Oldsmobile lineup, the 1973 Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser.